quick book review. Billy's books. Everybody loves Billy's books. I'm going real fast because the mosquitoes are out to get me, okay? So, here we go. Star Wars Thrawn, a new novel by Timothy Zahn. He uh, does character studies. I think he wrote the Tarkin book. Anyway, it's similar to the Tarkin book in as it shows one of the badass dudes of the Empire slowly rising to the top. So he does that. Not so slow. He's pretty fast. You know why? Because he's really smart and he can, he can judge people by their actions and by the heat on their faces because he has red eyes and can see infrared. So this book reminds me in several ways of Hamilton, Fountainhead, Machiavelli, and Mentalist. Mentalist, what we were just talking about. Well, he can read, he can sort of not read minds, which is what the Mentalist had originally done, but really just read clues. So he's good at reading clues and judging people. It's really obvious to him when they're lying or what they're hiding or something like that, and he usually strategizes accordingly. Okay, Machiavelli and the Fountainhead. Well, those two go together. Basically, um, Machiavelli and Fountainhead, they both had the same story. If you want to go to the top, just fuck everyone over, over because it's all about you and screw everyone else, right? The Hamilton idea is that it's sort of like there's a really big, powerful dude, and uh, this smart guy is sort of his right-hand man. Eli Vanto. There's a difference between uh, Hamilton and Thrawn is that in Hamilton, the right-hand man, Alexander Hamilton, is smarter than the guy he's assisting, George Washington. In this case, Eli Vanto is definitely not smarter than Thrawn. Thrawn is really brilliant and really cool. As a matter of fact, um, you know, Thrawn's known for being this merciless dude, but you don't get any sense that he is cruel or sadistic at all in his book, just that he's calculating and very, very, very pragmatic. So I think it's a really cool story. <clears throat> I've grown to like Thrawn through this instead of despising him as, a, as an Imperial bad guy. What's cool about the Star Wars series is they, they have stories from both the Imperial and the Rebel side often. And you get to really know that the people in the Empire, most of them, weren't evil. It's just, you know, it's just the, the politics or the way things go. Obviously some of them are. We could argue that Tarkin was pretty evil. Certainly Palpatine. But I don't think Thrawn's evil. I think he's just badass. So I recommend the book. And here come the mosquitoes. If you can't do, review.